Hello everyone, welcome back to Code Studio. And in this video, we are discussing the video tutorial of the problem domino piling, which appeared in Code Forces beta round 47. So let's get into the question and see what the problem statement is. So you, basically, you're given a rectangular board that looks something like this of m cross n squares, and you're given an unlimited number of standard domino pieces which look like these, and you're allowed to rotate the pieces or place it straight ways. You are asked to place as many dominoes as possible so as to meet the following condition. Point number one, each domino completely cast two squares which is quite obvious. Second, no two dominoes overlap, noted. Three, each domino lie inside the board. That is you are not allowed to touch the edges of the board. There is another question called theta square on code forces. Uh, which you might or might not have solved. I'll leave a link to that question in the description below. That question is similar to this, but in that question, you can extend these domino pieces away from the uh, given rectangular board too. So basically, you have to cover the data square, which is a rectangular board in that question, and you can exceed that. The basic condition was to completely cover the square. But here in domino piling, it's not like you have to completely cover the square, you have to maximally cover the square. You have to cover the board as maximum as possible, but not exceed the boundary limit, right? So you have to find the maximum number of dominoes which can be placed under these restrictions. So to solve this type of question, uh, it's basically simple. Let's just say the area of each square is one unit. Then the area of domino, each domino unit will be two units, right? And let's just also uh, say the same square exists in the rectangular board. So the rectangular board uh, area would be n into m, right? Because n is the height and m is the breadth, right? So since you have to maximize the number of dominoes and we know in programming, uh, a division always returns an integer if we assign it to an integer variable. So basically it like, acts like a floor function in mathematics. That is 3 by 2 would not become 1.5, it would become 1, which is the floor of 1.5, right? So you are you are not exceeding the boundary, but that's just decreasing it, right? The bound, let's just say the boundary is 2 units and you get 1.5, that means you can't have a half, uh, half unit of domino square. So you are decreasing the domino square and having only 1 there, right? Got it? So here is a simple. So you'll use the normal division and you'll assign it to the integer variable and then you'll just print it. So the area of the rectangular board is n cross m and area of each domino is two units. So let's just say you require k domino units, then you'll have a maximum of k domino units whose area is 2k, which will be, which will be uh, fitted in the m cross n board. So the number of dominoes would be m into n by two units, which will give the maximum number of dominoes, which is k. So quite simple, right? So this question is quite simple. You have to just print the value of m into n by two. Let's just go into our code editor and print that stuff. So let me just fill out the standard ones. So you'll have n comma n and then you have to uh, input them into the program and then you have to just print n into m by 2. That's it. This is as simple as that, right? So let me just compile this and run the test cases. So dot a dot out and the 2 comma 4 is 4. Let me also try for 3 comma 3. This is also 4, right? So you understand the uh, logic, right? You are basically dividing the area of each domino uh, piece and you are fitting it into the rectangular board. So you are dividing uh, the rectangular board's area divided by the area of each domino square, which gives the maximum number of domino pieces, right? As simple as that. Let's just submit this. Domino piling, done, submit. So yeah, problem has been accepted. So, so you understand the difference between theta square. Please try the theta square question and also try this domino piling. These two are quite different problems and have different uh, approach of solving. So domino, uh, domino uh, piling has a maximum limit on the boundary, whereas theta square does not have a restriction on the boundary. 
so hope you understand this if you like this video please hit the like button if you love the content on this channel please hit the subscribe button and also share this video to your programming friends thanks and bye